been uh, two years since I uh, took delivery of this car on uh, August 18th and uh, tell you what, time, time's flying. I can't believe it's been two years already. So, uh, what have I done since the last update? Well, I've added the uh, the FS Works uh, Sport Catback Exhaust System, and then I also added the FS Works uh, Short Shift Kit, um, and I have that set to 15% um, reduction. So, uh, if you're looking for the review videos on those two items, you can check out the uh, the BRGT350 YouTube page because they're covered uh, quite extensively. So anyway, uh, besides that, I haven't really done anything else to the car. And I'll tell you what, uh, I'm absolutely loving the uh, the car the way it is. You know, I get a lot of people like, you know, why don't you go stage two? And why aren't you with stage three, bro? Well, you know what? I don't really think the car needs it. Uh, right now, I think the car is very well balanced. It has the, uh, the performance that I'm looking for, both in horsepower and torque. Um, I have the handling the way I'd want it. I have the appearance the way I want it. I really can't justify putting that much more into the car uh, in terms of modifications because I'm just that happy with the, uh, the car the way it sits right now. Um, we did have the hottest um, summer that we've had on record. And I'm here to say that um, even with the hottest summer on record, I really didn't need to upgrade the intercooler. I was very surprised by that. I paid close attention to the uh, the intercooler charge temps. And uh, even when autocrossing, um, I didn't. I very rarely see temperatures above 100 degrees. And when I did, it's typically when you're stuck in traffic and you're not really using any boost pressure anyway. You're basically just putzing along in first gear getting through traffic. So uh, while I, I know that is the key to making um, repeatable uh, horsepower and further modifications, um, I don't really think I need it for those for the three months that it's actually warm enough to warrant um, such a uh, modification. So otherwise, um, let's talk about fuel economy. People do ask. It is a small car. It does come up. So how are we on fuel economy? Well, I'm um, averaging about 29 to 30 miles to the gallon, um, which is actually pretty respectable. I have no problem with that. That is a combined um, highway and city driving, basically back and forth to work. And happy with the results of that. That's with Shell 93 Octane and the Montoon um, tune on the access port, which is pretty good. Um, I don't do anything too crazy with it, so I'm pretty happy with the results that I have so far uh, with mileage. And of course, I didn't buy the car for mileage anyway, so um, any mileage you get is pretty good. So I'm nowhere close to what my brother gets with his one liter, but then again, he doesn't have the horsepower and torque that I have, so I consider myself winning. Otherwise, uh, what kind of problems have I run into? Well, only in the last uh, few thousand miles, by the way, I got just under 25,000 miles on the car so far. Um, only in the few thousand miles have I had a few issues creep up. One, uh, the TPMS light keeps going off telling me I have a low tire pressure. Um, I check all the tire pressures, they're all fine. So I'm not sure what the deal is. My guess is I have a sensor that's giving me some trouble. So I'll take a look at that over the winter when I get the summer wheels and tires off and put them in storage. The other thing I have is the um, my Ford Touch, whenever I receive a phone call, it automatically disconnects the phone. So the one time that you really could use my Ford Touch, uh, it disconnects. So I'm guessing that has something to do with the fact that I have never done an update to it and I should probably just go out and uh, check it uh, and sync my ride to see if I'm due for an update. But otherwise, uh, besides those two minor things, the car has been absolutely phenomenal. The only thing I've done to is just oil changes for maintenance. Uh, everything is holding up well. If you remember from my, um, my original or my year ago video, I complained about the brake dust and I found a solution to that. I put uh, Carbon Collective Platinum wheel sealant on the, uh, on the wheels of the spring. And I'll tell you what, that made all the difference in the world. While the wheels still get dirty, I can hit them with a hose and within a few minutes, I got perfectly clean wheels all over again. So I think that is the key. If you're an ST owner, whether a Fiesta or Focus ST, and probably Focus RS for that matter, make sure you get yourself some of that wheel sealant and seal the wheels up, and I'll tell you what, you will be amazed at how much easier they are to clean. They still get dirty, but they're just easier to clean, which is what was kind of my major complaint, is all the time I would have to take to uh, clean them. So I found a good enough solution for that for right now, so I'm pretty happy with what I've come up with. Otherwise, um, boy, what do I do for the next year? I don't really know. The car is pretty much set up the way I want it to be set up. I don't really have uh, any other changes to it. The appearance is the way I want it. I may tweak around with the exhaust sound a little bit. I would like to have a little bit more of the pop and gurgle that you get with the uh, Focus RS, but that isn't easily done, so I'm thinking maybe some tuning to do that. I'm really not interested in changing the downpipe or anything like that, so otherwise I think the car is done, and it is honestly one of the most enjoyable cars I have ever owned in my entire life. And if you're 
on the fence whether or not you're thinking maybe I should buy one of these, go right ahead and do it. If you need to buy a used one, go ahead and do it. You won't have any worries at all about picking one of these things up used. The car is absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I can't imagine having another car that's more fun than this. I've even, I think about the Focus RS and it's almost double the price. And I'm thinking, is it really double the fun? Um, I don't know. Uh, this thing has got plenty of power. The handling is outstanding. The brakes are great. I'm totally happy with the Fiesta ST. And um, yeah, if you're on the shelf or on the, you know, on the fence post, whether or not to buy one of these, absolutely go out and get one. You will not be disappointed in the car at all. So that pretty much wraps up the uh, the two year review. If you got any questions or anything, uh, of course, feel th feel free to comment on the um, BRGT350 YouTube page on the video. I do my best to try to answer all of them. And so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the last two years with the car as much as I have. So that's it. We'll talk to you guys later.